Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best laptops for DJ. Starting at number 5. Microsoft Surface Pro 8. If you like the 2-in-1 tablet form factor, get the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 2021. You can detach the keyboard to make it easier to hold as a tablet or save space and pop it back on when you need to type something out. Its 3,2 display looks sharp, gets bright enough to combat glare, and supports pen input. You get an excellent 1080p webcam for video calls and a Windows Hello IR camera for quick logins. The battery is short at 7 hours of light use, but luckily, the power adapter is fairly compact, and you can also charge via its USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4 ports. Speaking of ports, expect to get a dock because it only has two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4s, a headphone jack, and a proprietary Surface charging port. Unfortunately, you need to buy the keyboard and stylus separately. As this is a model from 2021, there's already a newer version, the Surface Pro 9. It's essentially the same device but with faster Intel 12th gen processors. The Surface Pro 9 is easier to find. But if you don't need the performance increase, you can save a good chunk of cash with the Surface Pro 8 since it's an older device and often on sale. Coming at number 4. Asus VivoBook 16. The best budget laptop for music production we've tested is the Asus VivoBook 16M1605, 2023. Like our mid-range pick, this is a 16-inch model, but it isn't a 2-in-1, so you lose the tablet functionality. The display doesn't support touch input at all. You still get a nice keyboard and a large touchpad, and it's also available with the same AMD Ryzen CPUs as the Dell. Its fingerprint sensor allows you to log in quickly, and its battery lasts around 8 hours of light use. Ports include three USB-S, a USB-C, not Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, sadly, and an HDMI. As this is a budget model, there are a couple of compromises you should know about. First, the display only gets to about 250 candelas per square meter at full brightness, which is fine for most indoor settings but not for sunny environments or outdoors in broad daylight. Next, the USB-C port doesn't support video output, meaning you can only use the HDMI port to connect to an external monitor. Lastly, you can only get 8GB of memory. If you want 16GB, you must upgrade it via the empty SODIMM slot. At number 3. Lenovo 2022 Newest. If you want a more modest mid-range model, check out the Lenovo Yoga 7i16, 2023, a well-built 16-inch 2-in-1 convertible. It sports a large 16-inch display, giving you plenty of screen real estate to see your tracks, samples, and tools. Additionally, since it's a 2-in-1, you can flip the screen around and use it as a tablet to see your music sheets while playing. There's also pen input support, and the laptop includes a stylus in the box, which is great for those working with music notation software like StaffPad. There's a fingerprint sensor and a facial recognition camera, so you can log in quickly and get to work. Spec-wise, you can get this laptop with an Intel 13th Gen U or P-Series CPU. We recommend getting a model with a P-Series chip, as they have better multi-thread performance to handle demanding workloads. They won't perform as well as the H-Series CPUs typically found in mobile workstations or even Apple's M2 Pro slash Mac socks, but they can get the job done. Fan noise is not a problem, it's barely audible under load. Ports include two USB-S, two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4s, an HDMI, and a microSD card reader. The battery lasts over 12 hours of light use and charges fairly quickly over USB-C. You can get this laptop directly from Lenovo if you have trouble finding it elsewhere. Number 2 of my list. Apple 2023 MacBook Air. If you don't want to spend too much on a mobile workstation like the Apple MacBook Pro 14 M2 2023, the Apple MacBook Air 15 2023 might be a good fit. While its base M2 chip doesn't quite have the processing power of the MacBook Pro's M3 Pro slash Mac socks, it's still fast enough to handle music production easily. It's fanless, so you don't need to worry about fan noise ruining your recordings. 
Plus, its 15.3-inch display gives you plenty of screen real estate to work comfortably. The main drawback is its limited port selection, as it's limited to two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 ports with support for one external display. Another option is its smaller sibling, the Apple MacBook Air 13, 2022. It's essentially the same device as the 15-inch but with a 13.6-inch screen. It's more portable and cheaper, but you don't get as much screen space. Also, the speakers don't sound as good. Our recommendation for Windows users is the Acer Swift 14, 2023. This 14-inch model has a nice bright screen and tons of ports, and it's available with Intel 13th Gen H series processors, typically found in mobile workstations and gaming laptops. However, its keyboard, touchpad, and speakers aren't as good as the MacBook Airs. Also, the fan is audible when running at full speed, so it might not be ideal if you need to record something with a microphone. And number 1. Apple 2023 MacBook. The best laptop for music production we've tested is the Apple MacBook Pro 14, M2, 2023. It's an exceptionally well-built device with plenty of processing horsepower for even the most demanding music production workloads. It also provides a great user experience with its mini LED display, spacious keyboard, and gigantic touchpad. Its excellent port selection makes it easy to plug in your production station, keyboard, audio interface, etc. There's even a high output 3.5mm headphone jack for hard-to-drive cans. The fans never get loud, so you don't have to worry about fan noise getting picked up on the microphone. The main downside of this laptop is that you're paying for graphical performance that you don't necessarily need. If you want more screen space and don't mind paying more, get the larger Apple MacBook Pro 16, 2023. It's the same device but with better sounding speakers and a slightly longer battery life. Apple has released new MacBook Pros with its M3 socks. The new chips provide slightly better performance but otherwise don't bring anything that would benefit music production. Apple no longer sells the M2 models on its website, so it's best to get an M3 model unless you can find the M2 on sale elsewhere. We'll have a full review of the 14-inch MacBook Pro soon. Check out our Apple MacBook Pro 16, M3, 2023, review if you're curious about the M3 Max Sosi's performance. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.